Hello, welcome to my channel Christian Faith and Fiction. My name's Lou and today I'm going to be looking at the Christian Fiction new releases coming out in April 2021. I tried to find as many books as I can for this video but if you can think of any more that are coming out in April then please do leave them down in the comments below. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented or shared my videos. I really appreciate that. I've separated the books into genres and I'm just going to read out the first uh, paragraph of their description for each one so we can get through them fairly quickly. In historical fiction, Hope Between the Pages by Pepper Basham releases on the 1st of April. Clara Blackwell helps her mother manage a struggling 100-year-old family bookshop in Asheville, North Carolina, but the discovery of a forgotten letter opens a mystery of a long-lost romance and undiscovered inheritance which could save its future. A Piece of the Moon by Chris Fabry. Fabry? I think that's how you say it. Um, this is set in West Virginia in the 1980s and it releases on the 6th of April. When eccentric millionaire Gideon Quidley receives a divine revelation to hide his earthly treasure somewhere in the hills, he sets out to find a fitting hiding spot, choosing only a few Bible verses as clues, leading to untold riches of gold, silver, cash, and one very unexpected and very costly item. Winning the Gentleman by Christy Ann Hunter releases on the 20th of April. It's the second book in her Hearts on the Heath series. Aaron Whitworth hasn't had control over most aspects of his life, but he's always taken pride in being an honourable businessman and better than average horseman. When both of these claims are threatened, he makes a desperate decision to hire the horse trainer of a travelling circus as a temporary jockey for his racehorses. Sophie Fritzroy knows that most horsemen don't take her seriously because she's a woman, but can't pass up the opportunity to get away from the tumultuous world of travel and performing. In the romance genre, Is It Any Wonder by Courtney Walsh is book two in the Nantucket Love Story series and this releases on the 6th of April. Twelve years ago, Cody Boggs and Louisa Chambers made a pact that no matter where their lives took them, they'd return to Nantucket Island's Brand Point Lighthouse on July 30th their shared golden birthday and continue their tradition of exchanging birthday wishes, but that was before a tragic accident upended both their lives, irrevocably pulling them apart. Blackberry Beach by Irene Hannon releases on the 6th of April. Catherine Parker is on the cusp of having everything she ever wanted, fame, money and acclaim. So why isn't she happy? In search of answers, she comes incognito to Hope Harbour on the Oregon coast for some R&R. &R. Maybe in her secluded rental house overlooking the serene Pacific, she'll be able to calm the storm inside. Coffee shop owner Zach Garrett has found his niche after a traumatic loss and he has no plans to change the life he's created. All That Really Matters by Nicola Deese. This releases on the 6th of April and is Hope Harbour Book 7, I think. Molly Mackenzie's bright personality and on-trend fashion and beauty advice have earned her an impressive social media following, as well as a big paycheck each month. When her manager turned boyfriend says she has an audition to appear as a host on a makeover show that nominates underprivileged youth, her dream of further fame seems to be coming true. There's just one catch. She has little experience interacting with people in need. Bookshop by the Sea by Denise Hunter releases on the 13th of April. 11 months has not been long enough to prepare Sophie Lawson for the sight of him. After her mother was bedridden and her father bailed on the family, Sophie became a second mother to her twin brother, Seth, and younger sister, Jenna. Sophie supported her siblings through their college years, putting aside her own dream of opening a bookshop in Piper's Cove, the quaint North, quaint North Carolina beach town they frequented as children. But now it's finally time for Sophie to follow her own pursuits. Seth has just got a new job, the family house is sold and Jenna is set to marry her college beau in Piper's Cove. But the destination wedding reunites 
Sophie, to her best man, Aidan Maddox, her high school sweetheart, who left her without a backward glance to run an extreme sporting business in Florida. In Mystery and Suspense, Three Missing Days by Colleen Coble is the third book in the Pelican Harbour series, and it releases on the 6th of April. A Shocking Murder Chief of Police Jane Hardy plunges into the investigation of a tragic local murder, but everything in her personal life is unravelling. I'm not going to read the rest of that because it's the third book in the series, and actually the... Um, those the though the mysteries are separate in each book, the overall story continues from books one to three. Present Danger by Elizabeth Goddard is the first book in the Mo Rocky Mountain Courage series, and it releases on the sixth of April. Former FBI special agent Jack Tanner is working as a detective in Montana when he comes across a body in the national forest during a search and rescue miss mission. He's committed to finding the killer, even if it means working alongside his old flame, U.S. Forest Servant Service, U.S. Forest Service Special Agent Terra Connors. In fantasy and sci-fi, we've got some audiobooks coming out that are um, books that have already come out in ebook paperback. Um, they're coming out for the first time in audio. So, A Time to Speak by Nadine Brandes is the second book in the Out of Time series and that releases on the 6th of April. Song of Lyra by Gillian Bronte Adams is the third book in the Songkeeper Chronicles and that releases in audiobook on the 13th of April. Hideous Beauty by Jack Kavanagh is releasing in audiobook uh, on the 20th of April and it's the book one in the Kingdom Wars series. Fusion Fire by Kathy Tyers is book two in the Firebird series and it is re-releasing in audiobook on the 27th of April. And then there's one new book, Realms of Light by Sandra Fernandez Rhodes and that is the book two in the Colliding Line series and it's releasing on the 13th of April. So I don't know if I can read the description for that because it's book two. And finally, in kids' books, um, Amber's Song by Caitlin Pitts, Cameron Pitts and Olivia Pitts is book three in the Faith Girls series and that releases on the 6th of April. Amber and her sisters Ashton and Ansley head to Christian summer camp in Camp Karaka, Karakara. It's been an annual tradition for years. With high hopes, the twins meet their cabin mates Geo, an old friend from back home in Texas, and Millie, a new friend with some challenges to overcome. So those are the books I could find that were coming out in April. Again, um, if you know of any other books, um, please leave them in the comments. Um, I would ask that you don't put a link to the book because that means that the comment won't get posted. It will get put into my blocked um, file and I may or may not find it. It may get deleted. Um, so just put the author and the title and the genre and that would be really helpful to everyone who is reading through the comments. Um, let me know if any of those are books that you're planning to read at some point. Thank you again to everyone who has subscribed, liked, um, commented and uh, shared my video and I really appreciate that. I hope you have a great reading week and month and hopefully I'll be back again soon. Okay, bye. Thank you.